All right, so got myself a new pair of boots, but they uh, come from the factory. They say, oh, they're waterproof. Well, yeah, for the first time. And then they quickly become not waterproof. But I found that if I coat them with a good coating of snow seal, so beeswax, waterproofing product. Man, these suckers hold up in the roughest conditions. It's, uh, it's going to go along and slather. Let's just get a whole bunch here with a toothbrush and just kind of smear it around. No need to be nice or pretty about it because I'm going to come back with a heat gun and uh, melt it all into the, the, the leather. It's going to totally change the color of the leather and all that good jazz when we're coming into the wet season and I work outside in the mud. I don't like wearing rubber boots. So this is what I have to do. So the water can't ruin the leather. So just smear a bunch around over the whole boot. Now I'll do this a couple of times. Because you're gonna quickly see that, oh man, it just soaks in. Big time. Right. All these laces, the stitching. bit more for this one we'll call it good and we'll apply the heat second boot. Get those 
laces, stitching. part. Okay, now that we've uh, got the boots all coated up with uh, some snow seal. Oh, I just got it on me. Yeah, uh, well, oh well. It's not going to be the first or the last time that happens. Now, we bring in the big guns. So, let's go to town. I just got it turned up on high. Just gonna just hit it with the gun. And let it kind of just soak in. I don't want to melt it all off. And you can just kind of See, it's just kind of, it soaks into the leather. Maybe you can, I'm gonna zoom in, we'll zoom in later. But I'm just heating it up and letting it melt in to the leather. But it just takes time and patience and you gotta let it get into the pores and then I might come along with my brush and just kind of help re-spread it around you can see there's maybe you can't they're like dry spots where it soaks in after a while like I said you get the you gotta get the leather warmed up I've used hair dryers in the past and they don't work as good. This you can just see it literally just soak in. And I really want to get the more important part is right down around the bottom. You know where the all the bending happens right in this zone right in here. Oh you can see how it's running from one. You just kind of chase it around. Kind of like a game, chase the wax. That's all this is, it's just beeswax. But it just literally soaks in. But you do it over a cardboard box or something, because you will eventually get some drippers. And I just keep doing this until the leather won't take any more. But I mean, it just whoo, soaks in. It, it'll dis disappear. All of it. It's just wild. Well, if I'm losing some, well, I'm not being careful, it's dripping. You can quickly see where it's all been soaked up versus where it hasn't. So, it's just not all in there yet. But, we'll get her. Get her with the heat gun.
temp here. 170, 160 degrees, so that's probably, you know. If you're gonna just set it, some people set them in the oven. And I can see that being okay. But what a mess. You don't have the controls, so I can go and kind of see where it's going in and where it's not going in. Okay, I this one's done. For that round. Like I said, I'll let that one cool off. Now we'll do the second one. So, yeah. Yeah. Just the second boot. You just kind of heat it up and then just once it melts it, it then it starts to soak in. Obviously it can't soak in when it's not melted. get these seams and right next to the sole. Get it all up in here. Get it. Expecting some rain tomorrow, so I, my other boots, I stepped on a nail, put a hole in the bottom of it, so they're no good anymore when it rains. I can't fix it, so this is a new pair of boots I've had, but I've been just meaning to, to do the waterproofing. Mud proofing. All the nasties. The leachate. Dump juice. These boots will never come home again. Whatever I'm gonna do, I gotta do to him now. All right. See, it all just soaks in. It's like magic. Oh, oh, oh it's magic. Yeah. Start to see, you just kind of look and see. You can see where it's not not soaked in. And you just kind of hit it again and wait and come back and voila, it's soaked in. That looks like it's not even done. All 
right. There's that one. Let's see, I already did this one. Can't even tell. But you can see here, you can see the, the wax down there, but that's no big deal. All right. Anyway, that's that's the process. That's how you do it. I'm gonna probably do it another couple times, or until it you'll get to a point where it doesn't soak in. Uh, and once you reach that, I just guess I've done all I can do. So get yourself some snow seed. Old school, but. Still valuable. Okay, this is the reapply of the second coat. Oh, And all the glue up. I'm sure, these are just glued together. Cheap Chinese boots. These are Wolverines. Company's out in Michigan. All right, till next time. Let those cool off again. Maybe I should put it on while it's hot. Get a little more coat. Let's do one more run. This time I'm going to preheat this sucker. Attracted by the wax? I think he probably is. If there's a little bit of honey still in it. <laughs> I'm not sure. He's been flying in. He checks around the snow seal. I'm <laughs> 
Yep, I think I've reached that saturation point in certain areas. Not on the top. So around these seams on that one, but not on this one. So we're gonna hit it again. One more time. Definitely the top. time. changed. I'm almost black now. <laughs> 